going to talk to you today about treating a choking baby. Now, when we talk about a baby in first aid terms, we talk about any child from birth to a year old, although it's really more to do about size than actual age. So any small toddler, this will work for as well. When we're suspecting that a baby's choking, we're obviously looking at, at their face, we're looking at the fact that they might be looking as if they're gagging, they might initially go a bit red, but then quickly become white and then even ashen as the oxygen levels in their body is beginning to drop. The first thing you need to do if you suspect that your baby's choking is to have a quick look in the mouth and see if there's anything there that you can easily remove, maybe with the flick of a little finger. Please don't ever do a blind finger sweep, particularly in a baby's mouth, and be very careful not to scratch the back of the throat if you do go in to try and remove something visible. If that hasn't worked and the baby's clearly still not breathing, the first thing you're going to do is up to five back blows. In order to do this safely, you really need to be sitting down on a chair or on the floor or kneeling on the floor. So you've got a nice stable base. You need to turn the baby over, obviously being careful to support the head as you do so, and lean them either across your lap with their head slightly tilted down, or you can hold them down your forearm. Just be aware though that a real baby at this point is likely to be struggling and wriggling quite a lot. So make sure you hold them and they're secure. You're then going to use one hand to give the baby five sharp blows in the centre of the top portion of their back. Obviously be careful about how hard you push them. Um, you don't want to be hitting obviously over hard, but you do want it hard enough to provide a, a good exhalation to hopefully obscure the, uh, bring the object out. So once and check to see if anything's been dislodged twice and repeat up to five times, obviously stopping if something falls out and supporting the head while you do that. If it hasn't worked, you're then going to carefully bring the baby back so they're lying on their back and perform up to five chest thrusts. To do this correctly, you need the baby on your lap again or on the floor and you're going to place the tips of two fingers between the baby's nipples on their breastbone. So you're in the centre of the chest with your fingers going down the line of the breastbone. You're pushing down a third of the depth of the casualty's body and it's quite a hard uh, poke to try and dislodge that object and bring it up into the mouth. Checking each time to see if the objects come up. And again, up to five times. If that hasn't worked, we're going to repeat the whole process again until hopefully the object comes out. If it doesn't come out, please make sure that you call for help and call an ambulance no later than two to three cycles um, of, of this treatment. Obviously during this time the baby's not breathing properly, so you do need to get help on the way if the treatment isn't working quite quickly. Once you've uh, cleared the casualty's throat and the baby's breathing properly again, if you've had to do chest thrusts, if there's been a prolonged time where this baby's not breathed properly, please do seek medical advice afterwards just to make sure all's well. You'll probably need a large cup of tea and a big brown chocolate at this point too, and that's perfectly fine. Um, and just make sure that you do seek uh, help, you do seek support if necessary. Keep a look out for any uh, other of our first aid training tips as uh, time goes on, and do give us a call uh, at our offices in Seven Oaks. We'd be delighted to chat to you about any first aid needs you have. Uh, or you can email us at office at peakskills.co.uk or look at our website www.peakskills.co.uk. Thanks for watching.